So what I'm going to do is actually tape this down so it doesn't move on me. And the amount of detail you're going to get in the rubbing is just depends on the kind of paper you're using, what kind of drawing utensil you're using. So there's that. It looks really cool. You can get some of the detail you can see in comparison to the block. You can see where the circles are and where the dots are. So that gives you a really different effect. So, what we're going to do now is print this with ink. So I have my inks over here. I'm going to print this with black and white, I think. So, if you don't have access, like I said, to a printing press, what you can do is print by hand. use this metal spoon. Uh, a wooden spoon works really well, but I don't have a wooden spoon with me and I can't find my barren. So this is what we're going to do. And then you're just going to rub this on the back. And you should be able to start seeing the um, image kind of coming through the back of the paper, especially because I'm using really thin paper. I'm just using computer paper for this demo right now. But I will show you, you know, how to how to print it on better printing paper. You can see, you can kind of see it starting to show up in different spots. I'm going to put some pressure into this. There you can see that you can actually get a pretty good print just using a spoon. So what I'm going to do is ink this up again. I have that and I'm going to place it. On top of this, the opposite way, actually, to see what we get with that. I'm not going to take this one down, I'm just going to go for it. So that's really cool. You can see all those colors in the background from the negative space and the white space where we were. So you can do a couple different things with this, and it'll turn out really cool. All right, that's about it for now. Um, and again, here is the final line. We have the um, linoleum cut on top of a rubbing that we did in the same image. So again, you can do these rubbings with colored pencil. 
high scales, regular pencil. You can get really different effects with different things. And then you can have fun layering and playing around. As you can see, that's what I do. 